Blake Resnick, the founder of Brink here in Seattle, just came back from Poland earlier this morning. His company just donated thousands of dollars worth of drone equipment to the Ukrainian Emergency Services and wrapped up extensive training with Ukrainian emergency responders in Poland to help them with their search and rescue efforts after bombings. And we wanted to do what we could help to, you know, save lives over there. And that's exactly what 22 year old Blake Resnick, the founder and CEO of a company called Brink, located in Fremont, is doing. One drone at a time. Resnick just donated 10 drones worth $150,000 to the Ukrainian Emergency Services. If you break one, take it off and match it up. He and his team just conducted an extensive training with 12 Ukrainian first responders in Poland, hoping to enhance their search and rescue efforts. The folks, you know, looking under collapsed buildings and uh, trying to find survivors and you know, deal with the, the destruction that Russia is unfortunately causing on, on their country. Resnick says the Ukrainian government reached out to him and his company for aid when the conflict first started in February. And being Ukrainian himself, it was an opportunity he couldn't pass up, offering his one-of-a-kind technology to hopefully make a difference in a country he loves. It's one of the only drones in the world that can operate in zero light and GPS denied conditions. We build the only drone in the world with two-way audio. These two things are microphones, uh, and this is a speaker driver. And is one of the only drones that can pack a punch. Having the capabilities to break glass, which he says is critical during search and rescue operations. Resnick says he's grateful to lend a helping hand during these uncertain times in Ukraine and is inspired by the countless Ukrainians standing up for their country. Their, their spirit and determination uh, in, in the face of, of evil and unbelievable pressure uh, is, is remarkable and we just want to do everything we can to help. And Resnick says his company is keeping in touch with the Ukrainian emergency services and could be donating more drones in the near future. Back to you.